Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Francesca. If this is your first time here, please consider joining my YouTube family and press that subscribe button down below and the notification bell next to it so that you are notified when I put new content out on Sundays and Thursdays every week regarding Lux Life and anything girly. So guys, for today's video, I wanted to reveal what I got for Christmas from my husband. So this is probably the biggest item um, that I got for this year. As you know that I've, this past Black Friday, I've shopped for myself. So those were little knickknacks and gifts from, you know, from me to me. <laughs> and um, this was probably my, um, this is the only present that essentially I got this year from my family. So um, my son also gave me um, a little figurine of a boy with a, with a golden heart and I'll stick a picture of it up here for you guys. And uh, a cup, I don't even know, it's a cup, technically like a stainless steel cup with dogs on it. Um, and yeah, he's using it. So put a picture of that up there. And my um, my stepdaughter and my son also got me gifts as well. So let's open this one from Louis Vuitton. Now, I know what it is because I obviously unboxed it for Christmas, but um, I, I was really in between two bags when I sent my wish list to my husband and I'll reveal the other bag when I pull this one out. So, oh, by the way, guys, so my essay was so nice. She gave me her own personal um, holiday bag because I guess they sent these back to the store. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Why are you being a creeper? I could edit it out. You want to say hi? So guys, my essay was so nice because she gave me her personal holiday bag. I guess they sent the holiday bags back to the warehouse because the blue, um, the blue color of the inside, uh, I guess, seeps into the box and in, onto your bag. So that was a big no-no. She told me to just, you know, keep this for, for keepsake, but not to put anything in there. So we're going to keep her. All right, so here's my box. Let's unbox her. And what I'm gonna do today is, I'm not gonna show what fits today, guys, because I, or not what fits, um, mod shots today, because I do have, um, I already ordered um, an extra strap for her so that I can show you guys different ways for us to, for you to wear this bag, so. There is the Louis Vuitton. Let's grab the bag. All right. So I got for Christmas the Point Chipo Souffle MM. Here's the strap. So as you guys know, this specific bag comes with treated vaquetta leather. Now. I wanted to show you the difference. So my um, my Noe BB is about I think a year old. Let's see. Yeah, so she was she's about a year old, and um, I wanted to show you guys the difference in the color of the vaquetta. So that's the bottom. And that's the treated vaquetta leather. So this is still coming up much, much more lighter even after a year of using it. And this already has, it has like a look of the patina, but um, obviously not used. There. All right, let's put her back at the top. Okay. So this bag retails for $2,550 here in the US website and it does, <clears throat> that's pre-taxes. 
It comes with a luggage tag, the bag itself, and um, oh, came out a lock and two keys. Now I've been noticing, and guys, tell me what's going on with this. Is this the new key logo for Louis Vuitton? You see how there's a circle there? So I will insert a picture of my other key over here from, I guess the Vanity PM I think also has this, but my other keys such as the Alma BB, they just had the regular um, LV on them. So let me guys, let me know what you think about that. Is that something new that they're doing or is it just for specific bags that they're doing that um, specific key? Now the strap for the Boyd Chapeau comes with the three adjustable holes on the side. You can wear this bag crossbody, top handle, and shoulder and technically um, backpack with this strap. And um, I'll tackle that in a different video. I just wanted to kind of show you guys what I thought about this bag first. Now, as far as the strap itself, it doesn't have any special markings on it. It doesn't have any embossing that says Louis Vuitton, but I guess what I can definitely tell is that this side of the strap is the front, the one that faces outside of the bag. And then this part of the strap is the inside, just because I can tell the difference with the, the Vachetta Vachetta leather. Here we go. And okay, that's it. So then the bag itself um, has that, my husband calls it the banjo because <laughs> it's circular and then it kind of has a flatter bottom. It has the look of the like of a Vaqueta strap down here with holes on them. And then it has the, the area where you would loop the strap on and then it has a pocket, a Vaqueta pocket in the front. And on the inside, let's see what's in here. That too, okay. So the inside says it's Louis Vuitton made in Italy. And it was made in the 35th week of 2020. So the the dates the date tag for it is inside all the way back there. Why did I make it so hard to find? All right. So as far as this bag is concerned, I so this is my fourth mono bag. Um, I've got the Noe BB. This one. The Pochette Matisse. Am I crazy? Oh, I guess I have this one. So yeah, it is my fourth mono bag, but it's the third Vaqueta mono bag. Um, the reason why I wanted this one is because I have, so I have the Noe BB, which is a bucket bag. This one is circular. And then the Pochette Matisse is more rectangular square looking bag. Um, I really, really wanted this one because of the backpack option. And the reason for that is I don't have a luxury backpack and I think this is so versatile and perfect for that. So watch out for that video, I will show you. As far as what it can fit, let's try and stick my daily essentials in it first and then see what we come up with, all right? So that's the inside, it's pretty spacious. Um, and the top kind of opens, but it does, it does like, it's pretty narrow in that sense where, you know, if you just, if you don't stretch it open, it'll, you will, it'll catch your fingers. I don't really care. All right. So I've got a bucket here of my stuff. Let's put my mini pochette first that actually is filled with stuff. Let's put my um, Agenda PM. So far, that's what it's looking like. Let's put my six key ring holder and we'll put that right like that. Let's put my Gucci Dionysus card holder. Let's see, okay. Let's put my AirPods Pro. I'm gonna put it in the corner because there's space there. There we go. So it's back there. And then 
let's this is a power bank let's put that right on the top like that okay and then obviously we can't leave our phone okay so that all fits so far um there's still some space so let's try and do some sunglasses up at the top so right now she's feeling nice and heavy and that closed beautifully so that is currently what i fit can fit inside this bag it is more than enough of my essentials and um because i don't usually bring all of that stuff um but with this bag i can so let's let me show you how to look through the strap and then our final thoughts all right so guys the bag itself the the shut up pocket is nice and clean the trim looks good i don't see any abnormality it looks pretty like very even right all of the lvs the floor de lis those all look good and then the zipper up top looks nice as well it has vaqueta pull tabs and then it has um louis vuitton uh tabs on there and then this looks good too and then the zipper itself guys has a maroon lining so that's what the bag looks like up at the top and this is what it looks like bottom wise and it looks pretty even at the bottom too as you can see like right there it the stitches and the actual lining of the canvas is absolutely perfect so very 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 happy with this bag let's go through let's go through how to put the vaqueta strap so I like to keep this part on the outside and this on the inside. So let's put that through and let's go through the middle one. Um, when I first unboxed this Christmas, I really, really love the shoulder look of this bag as well. So there it is middle and then let's do the other side. So again, you're gonna loop through. So you're gonna loop it under here and then up through that, okay? And then we're gonna get that middle hole like so, and then right through there. Oops, all right, so that's what it looks like as far as what it looks like on me right now on this let me show you so that's where it lays on me with um the middle uh with the middle hole now i'll definitely show you a lot more um get more into detail on how to wear this bag what it can um how versatile it is and stuff like that so final thoughts on this bag guys i absolutely love it the other contender for this year was the on the go mm and my husband absolutely hated that one so he went for this he calls it a banjo and he bought it and he made me pick it up and i was not allowed to open it until christmas day he's very nice that way so what do you guys think do you guys love this style do you want to um do you want something like this, like a circular bag? Do you think this is going to be on the trendier side or classic side? Let me know down in the comments. Um, also, since this is treated Bacata leather, um, the, the price is a little bit on the higher end. It is um, more than $2,000. So do you guys think it's worth it for this type of bag? Let me know down in the comments as well. So guys, completely enjoyed filming this video for you guys today i hope you enjoyed it as well let me know what you think about today's video and if you have not joined my youtube family please press that subscribe button and join me um that's it for today's video guys thank you for joining me i hope you enjoyed it you guys have a blessed day i'll see you in the next one bye